how many dates have you gone to as a result of dating app? Less than like 13. Um, That's the 12 lah. Specific. 12 still 12 lah. Do Singaporean men really like women who make the first move? This is your <laughs> daily catch up. Today's episode is sponsored by Bumble. Z. So they are a dating app that empowers women to take charge of the conversation. And as we all know, probably it's very difficult to make the first move. But what Bumble wants us to yeah. know is that a simple hello can actually change a lot of things, bring you on unexpected journeys and help you form unexpected connections. So go on and own that hello, make that first move onto the episode. Hello. Nice. So I have quite an interesting article. It's of opinion on how to date Singaporean girls and what dating culture is like in Singapore. So he basically explains like what Singaporean girls are basically seen. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> seen as you're barely counted as a foreigner. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, in fact, you're a local. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. This is the best I've ever felt in Singapore. Thanks, man. So. Oh sorry, just no. just to establish first, right? Since the sum of our dating experiences is not a lot, right? We have our <laughs> colleague here, hey, today, hey. Jillian, to Hi. share more. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait. She's had more experience <laughs> than us. Okay, name all your exes. Hi. <laughs> How many to begin with? This foreigner guy actually like Wasn't said that he has seen posts saying that Singaporean women are not easy to date because they're hard to understand, choosy and hard to please. He uh. does list some like common characteristics that he has found of Singaporean girls, which is basically one, they're highly educated, two, they're career driven, and three, they are foodies. Oof. Yeah. But what do what do y'all think about that? Are Singaporean women really a challenge to date? I think you described John Paul actually. I Mm. I mean, let's hear it. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, I think I I'm the choosy man. one. Yeah, I think I'm the choosy one. For and then one. there's also the other aspect of that. There are a bunch of people who don't actually know what they want to begin with also. Mm, so, but this has, I think this has to do with like a more personal thing. Like, like, like when we talk about like maybe them even being emotionally available in the dating space, right? Sometimes they are looking for validation, but it's not, I don't think it's the majority. La. I do think that there are a lot of people out there who are willing to put themselves out there. Um, so uh, I think it's just I'm choosy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should say though, like my experience dating Singaporean girls, actually none of them fit the stereotype. Okay, they're all highly educated. <laughs> okay. Really educated, really highly educated. I meant the second part, right? Not none hard of to them. understand, not choosy and not hard to please. Yeah, they weren't very choosy and not or not career driven. Please. No, no, all. So the, the first part, true. Uh, part uh, true. The good part's true. The good la, part's true. Then the bad part's all not but true. But the la. bad part's not true. I see, I see. Correct, correct. Maybe I just got lucky lah. I but just want to say he's already attached and he's not trying to get late. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he's doing this. No, he could be trying to get late. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> yes, yeah. I just want forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think are like some like common characteristics of Singaporean men? Or Damn like, good looking. Chin chai. Damn chin chai. <laughs> Super chin chai. Sha. What's your experience been like, like dating guys? I think it's like you can really tell the age. Like when you're... Because wow. I started, okay, okay, okay. Come, no, no, no. Let me, let me preface hey, it. Come now, come now. This is not life. <laughs> when I started dating when I was 17, then I could see like the underdevelopment in both me and the guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, right. Like in terms of like conversation, intelligence, <laughs> like, you know, I mean the substance is a bit less lah. But then as you grow older and you date, then you see like more development in that area. Maturity know. a bit lah. Yeah, yeah, What yeah. are you talking about? You could yeah, be talking the about like, words, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. But like, wow. I mean, even taking charge, I think as they grow older, right, guys will take charge a lot more than when you were like, when, when I was younger lah. Mm. Like when I was younger, I felt like the girl, as I had to take charge instead mm. of like the guys. But that's kind of like an age thing though. Yeah. Right, just as you get older, you date older guys lah. And then that's kind of something that kind of happens with, as you grow older. Yeah, that's, that's true lah. That's why I say I think it's also like the age factor. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh. It's a notification to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> okay, back to the episode. You work so hard for these middle plugs. <laughs> I work so hard at everything in my life. <laughs> back then I went on like this date with a guy and I thought he, it went like super well. So we went for like movies, the food like I split with him. I was like, okay, all these things check. Did right? you insist to split with him? No, no, no. I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, then he was like, okay. Lah. You know, cause we were like, uh. a bit younger. Then I said, okay, like, like, ease you off of it. Like, NSA, right, right, right. So after that, I pay everything, right? <laughs> then, then we were like smiling. Then he said, he said, <laughs> He said, low barrier. Yeah, he said like I go toilet ah. Then I said okay. <gasps> then he go to the MRT, we going to the toilet. Then I was like, okay, we'll probably like split off naturally, right? Then he like I wait outside for like one hour, you know. Then like huh, one hour for real? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like he's probably taking like a big like, <laughs> shit, right. <laughs> you know, I was like, I was like, I will wait. I'm okay, you know. Yeah. Cause you're like, smiling. 
Yeah, I was like, you know, I feel like the vibes were there. Yeah. It's either he could really hide it or like halfway he was like, had like this epiphany, like this is not for me. But he didn't say anything. Oh, right. No. So I couldn't sense it. Then suddenly I was like, is my radar like broken? Right. You know? And then I waited for one hour. Then I was like, hey, you still there? And then he never replied, never <gasps> read. So I just like had to pretend I was on the phone call. I was like, hey, you, you, you at the mall? Yeah, okay, I come and meet you now. Aww. And I had to just like play off. But I think also it's like not. You know when we do this play off, we are playing off nobody. Nobody gives a f. <laughs> but oh I, 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 I completely understand. Yeah, yeah, I completely understand. Yeah. yeah, for myself, I was just like, I, I, I don't know whether I felt the vibes wrong. Oh, but man. being ghosted is like real. But then you felt like, like a genuine wow, physically connection ghosted sucks, man. No, I just thought yeah. like fun or like can talk. So I think like we talked a bit about like what are some challenges that like both men and women would face in dating right in Singapore. Mm. So in this article, he has written down what he feels like dating culture in Singapore is. Ooh. Yeah. So number one is that usually it is still men who make the first move. So fair. Do men? So I'm like wondering, right? Like in the Western world and all that, like they are all empowering. Like women make the first move. Women start proposing even Very and good. all that, right? Yeah. So do men actually? You think prefer- men come out with this? Sh- we <laughs> 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 sit down and be like, Fuck, guys, why are we single? Yeah, 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 yeah. But does that, the function of it, which is like the girls need to talk first, does that turn you off from a dating app? Honestly, right? After I, started, I was asking the girl, but it's okay, you oh. can go. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I feel like a lot of guys in my life would prefer the girls to make the first move. Correct. Because I feel like there's so much more for the guy to lose. Correct. Yeah. Like, and also, like you Ally, for guys like <laughs> he's paying her men <laughs> like in in other dating apps right you, the girls DMs is full of guys right yeah. so you you have like already such a surplus of like guys and it's like who's the best one that wins yeah. right so it's very easy to get overlooked and it's so easy to feel like oh my god no girls love me because you keep trying like different pickup lines and then they never reply you so it just feels like there's yeah. something wrong with you and it's like online you're like okay how do you get a girl pickup line so you google pickup line you try the most creative pickup line but it still doesn't work mm. then you feel like your sense then you of realize self it's not about like, what you say it's about how you look <laughs> which is actually really is like it is la. really down to it yeah. it's just extremely superficial right but I actually mm. just came across this reddit post right that talk about this photo has got me more matches than any other picture that I have put. And then it's a photo right, of a fully stocked fridge. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Humor Actually, la. I feel no, like there's- uh, a, a man that knows to how to it. take care of himself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think even there's a running joke, right, of um, guys who hold fishes up. Uh. <laughs> right? Yes. Like a lot of girls say, I would not. I would not swipe on a guy who hold a fish up. And I think it becomes such why a- Why <laughs> like they say it's a red flag because Wait, that's in the photo uh, it's just a guy holding a fish yeah, it's like no there's, there's so fishing. many of that like yeah. after fishing oh fishing yeah. oh okay, okay. Yeah. I thought just buy a, a fish at home <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why is that a turn off like I think it, when you have so many people who are constantly rotating right on like dating apps and things like that you have like common experiences and then it becomes a stereotype a new stereotype for guys yeah. <laughs> the fishing enthusiasts are just weirdos, yeah like uh. you have people like um, uniforms certain uniforms um, right. girls have a consensus like no red flag and then the fish so it's also <laughs> been- <laughs> maybe it's, like the fish maybe it's sub- <laughs> no maybe the fish is subliminal because teach a man to fish Right, then so it actually shows yeah, he's longevity showing you, he's in his showing ability you he knows to, how to fish. provide. Yeah, no, then but after the like photo snap, really, thank you, thank you. He give back to the uh, fisherman. Maybe it's what fish hold. <laughs> <laughs> the maybe, bigger the fish, the maybe maybe the Asian worst. koi fish. Maybe not like you want to fish a koi no fish. A koi fish. <laughs> koi fish worth more. Arowana, arowana. That one, <laughs> Arowana, Arowana. Thing. Uh, that one can. Yeah. Right, right, right. I mean, based on like what my girls, girlfriends have, my female friends have spoken about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yikes! Why is it so hard to say that? <laughs> I don't know why. Is that like they feel like in a sense it's like the guy like peacocking, which they don't like. Mm. Yeah, right. showing off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I'll tell you why. Peacocking. Okay. You guys rarely take photos. Oh, true. And if we manage to catch a fish, which I've never caught a fish, I've tried once, never caught fish. If I manage to catch a fish, the f- fish is big, I'm gonna take a photo. And if come sometime, I feel like I need to find a photo for myself, right? I'm gonna go back to that one day, I was so f- happy because I found a fish. Eh. Or oh, the app asks you for six photos, you only got three. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and that's the point of time where everybody that you were with, happy for you. They're like, I must be pretty f- good. Eh. This, a lot of memories for me, is that I don't think it's about. The fish. <laughs> hey, but actually, there's a, like, I remember back then when, I mean, I used a dating app for like briefly, maybe three days when I was single, right? There was an art to like picking your five or six photos. Like one of which has to be like you looking like you're having a good time. So I can't remember the order, but like- Do you do you, like A-B testing? Wow, I didn't, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, I did get like maybe two matches like, out of like 
a lot. But anyway, like, so I know like the third or fourth picture, right, needs to be with you among friends to show that you're not a loner weirdo. Like you oh, can have friends. Must have you, you must circle yourself. Uh. Yeah, a bit. No, no, they will know who you are from the first two photos. The first two photos, they will see you already. <laughs> first photo cannot be more than one person. Yeah, correct. yeah, yeah. Correct, 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 correct. Correct. I you don't yeah, really think yeah, which yeah. one are you. Mm. Yeah. It has to be just one person. <laughs> then, so, so third one is like with you and friends. The fourth one at least should be you full bodied so they know that you um, look somewhat mm. normal. They can kind of like gauge your height or whatever. And then one of you of uh, doing an activity. So, so you're like so pitching. The fish? No, no, no. Fish. Fish. You caught already. And you probably get a lot of likes. Fishing. When you post your fish, you know, because everyone's like, wow, I caught a big fish. So you ask me, which is my best performing photo on social media? The one where I caught the f-ing fish. It must be like an activity that she can join you. So, like bowling, for example, or like karaoke, you know, it's like, oh, this guy knows how to have a good time. Maybe I might be interested. So, you must have these like three at least. And then your first two is just your best photos. Oh, is topless also a red flag? Oh. I think cannot be the first. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But if the body damn nice. Body too nice also red flag. Yeah. I feel like it works okay, the other okay, way okay, for men, men and women. No, but if you put like <laughs> bod- if you put just your body for the first photo, it's gonna be like you are like a gym rat, you are a red vein. Yeah. No, so like I'm at a music festival where it's at the beach. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Ooh. Which is perfectly acceptable to be topless and fun loving. Cool, mm-hmm. cool, and mm-hmm. yeah, okay, okay. So I, I, I'm really living through this because I, I, <laughs> by the time I it's creating his did, profile, <laughs> there was no, there was no, no, no dating apps yet. Then when dating apps came out, mm. like one foot in the can ah, can ah, topless at the beach, at the but obviously the photo to show the body. Eh. She's now become the expert. She's imagining. She the, she's just representing yes all the women. She's saying no. She's saying no. Though? Mm, yes. <laughs> then no. no, then no. <laughs> <laughs> nice body, but sunglasses, no. Okay. Because like you are covering your eyes, which, which is what the window girls, to the yeah. soul. But it could, <laughs> which it could be their insecurity, like me yeah. with small eyes. No, they insecure nice guys. Eyes. No. But small. So, huh? <laughs> it's so like for example, girls might be insecure with their skin, and so their first picture has makeup. Why is that okay? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, do we expect maybe the third, fourth, or fifth photograph, right, to be n- no makeup? Wow. Mm, just wake up, hair messy. But that's the me that you don't get to see yet though. That's why you stalk the Instagram. You know? <laughs> right. We don't do it, we are dodgy. Yeah, you all do it. Yeah. 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 No, which is why which is why the idea of Bumble was solid. Mm. Like it fights. Like where do <laughs> most of the rejections happen? I will wager 99% of the rejection happen from men saying hi and never getting anything back. Or just mm. hi and f off immediately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cause like so it's a fixed ninety nine percent, eh. Yeah. yeah, that's actually number two. So that like <laughs> men feel like they will likely reject you when you bluntly ask them for a date after f- just meeting them. Mm. Yeah, mm. there's a science to it. You know? No, there's like a there's the there's no, there the must whole be a chase. No, to add to your point, right? Like the playing field is really very very like skewed, unbalanced. Mm. So like like wow. I I I got like take my profile before, right? Then I show put put it side by side my my female friend's profile, right? Her account got like hundreds of guys that already swipe on her already. Then it's just. And, and then do you know that? For ticks. Yeah, yeah. If for ticks, her. You know how many both swipe you want? Ah? No, you no, like, like matches. matches. Yeah, oh, matches. Yeah. So like hundreds. Eh. Then like I see mine like what? Like 20, that kind. Then like, wow. But it could be you picky, what? No, but it's because. Maybe you got 100, but <laughs> you never swipe back on you. No, but there are a lot. Like I, I even have a friend who swipe until there's no more people. Eh. Mm. Shit, yeah. right no, but yellow see it's because guys just swipe, then girls will choose. Yeah, I feel like guys cast like a wider net, then he was like funnel down to maybe like three. I and will also infer, right, <laughs> that the guys need to spend a lot more time trying to impress the girl. That's why it has That's to be true. narrowed down. That is true. Whereas like one word answers are perfectly acceptable at the start. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, you replied me. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah. I was asking some of my guy friends and they said there were a lot of positive things about dating apps like that help them to ease into rejection so oh. right. so for example it's like it gives them time to think and react if a girl rejects them as opposed to in person they don't know how to like correct, correct, act, correct. right mm. so he says that like, i can think about my next move i can protect my feelings a little bit and if i'm socially awkward then i can you know plan my next move carefully yeah mm. yeah i i guess also there's 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 a lot of life lessons in getting learning rejection early as opposed to trying to deal with in real life. Mm. Go and give out flyers, guys. <laughs> give out flyers and then you will feel the rejection. Get used to feeling rejection. The secret to giving out flyers is to give out three at once. Oh my God. Or like sell fire extinguisher door to door. 
<laughs> okay, are we all listing our first rate. part-time <laughs> first? <laughs> okay, so number three on this dating culture thing, which I I was surprised by. It says that group dates are common in Singapore huh? because it allows couples to get to know each other without fearing for their safety and still have time to have fun. Uh, like first I days. didn't know group dates were a thing. Yeah. It I, feels really like first few, I think. Like yeah. Actually, it's days. true though. Whenever I set someone up, which I do a lot. Often, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the success rate? They would... They would Got got date one like okay, nice, never okay. done get married yet. Eh? Okay, mm. but they would often ask if Pat and I can join them also. Mm. But we would say no lah. Oh. But I think that one is it's different. Eh? process, you know what I mean. Huh? No, but it helps because like, there's something in common. Y'all can yeah. help break the ice a bit better. Yeah. But if it's just blindly like two people and then two people and then they just meet right, like they yeah. want a bit, a bit weird eh? Because like somebody else is gonna see your whole game. Correct. Yeah. And then like you be shy so you don't use all your moves also. Yeah. Like, I remember there was one time I think like my my or like the attractiveness very. Or like the two guys like right. the first girl then, ah, then nobody then, care then, about then, the second girl. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like, you then then it's like okay lah today I win. Mean. <laughs> no like it's probably like friends like you know each other already and not strangers. Like two friends and two friends. Yeah. Too. Yeah. That, it's a double agent. So I remember there was one time we, um I had a couple friends so they're both together and then the girl knew another girl who was single and then the, my guy friend knew me that was single right. So then we went on like a double did and then in the end the girl just kept talking to the girl I just kept talking to the guy and then we never really talked to each other because <laughs> it's like all no game <laughs> yes, yeah, probably or all not interested maybe oh. do you all think there's such a thing as first date etiquette so I was like reading this Zula article right where they were talking about a few things so it's basically one is the standard should you split the bill mm. then after that two don't ask for you know what, what does <laughs> <laughs> oh. what does Zula say should you split the bill uh, you must do the dance it's a, a mix actually they actually prefer that they go Dutch. I think also because but right. But guys must offer or not? <laughs> I think have to offer. That's the etiquette. Then the girl. Why is such a gamble Dutch. if I don't have enough money? I I feel like the guys <laughs> should that? still be prepared to pay for the whole amount. But I just need the girl to offer a bit. Yeah. You know, uh, like like just say hey, no, 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 no like Dutch. Then I'm like no 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 no. Okay, like I I, I started it. dating at fifteen, so it was like Player. allowance kind of shit, right? So every time I brought. Uh, my my girlfriend out, it was to the T one. Eh. I go home with zero one. Eh. Like sometimes I buffer oh. enough uh, to send her back, and then I can cap back for my curfew. And F-15. like yeah, then sometimes you just drop the the cap. You tell uncle stop here. I go down and walk. Mm. Wow. Yeah, but, I mean we live quite near lah. So, oh, okay. so the the trick right when you're young right is to pick a a mall right that has the lines that both of you can take on MRT hopefully hopefully yeah, yeah, yeah. So or like live nearby lah uh. no but even to the extent right like when we go to a restaurant I will let her order first so that I can contain the bill or you can pick the salad mm. if she uh, can pick the she pick first then I have to take the balance of my meal budget yeah mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah back in the day when you don't have technology and you have access to everything right like I will put with the taxi uncle sometime like I only have eight dollar can or not that's horrible then he will sometimes they will yeah, be like, okay. like, like, like 11pm yeah. they're not gonna get anybody else yeah. really myself deal with $8 oh, different oh, time yeah. uh, different yes, time yeah. but no, I like, feel like it's not about like whether it's chivalrous or not it's whether the girl feels burdened by that because now it feels like you treat me mm. and then I'm in a sense slightly indebted to you right then the girls really like, feel that way though it can be a cheeky way to be like next yeah. time's on you or <laughs> like what you can do to prolong the first date is tell the girl I got this how about we get ice cream and you can get ice cream then you prolong the date and then everyone loves ice cream it's a good time but if a girl insists she doesn't want to see you again correct 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 I feel like if the girl insists on Dutch right that's your last date yes Ooh. she doesn't want to owe you anything yeah. yes mm. correct correct that's a good that's sign true. then the other one Check. is how upfront should you be with what you're looking for because I feel like some okay maybe the older people who go out like for first dates and all that right I think that they are more clear with what they are looking for also no time already old already <laughs> <laughs> time to sleep bedtime is time to <laughs> yeah but like younger people might not know as well yeah then I think I think quite important uh, as long as you are clear what you want which a lot of people are not and then but just be upfront you don't you know, know what which you is want. why I insist right that if I set people up and they tell Pat and I to come along I don't want because mm. more often than not that will happen the guy will talk to the guy oh sorry that will happen the guy talk to the guy and the girl talk to the girl mm. and not necessarily because they were not interested but it's because they were hiding a certain agenda it's I'm following my friend to this dinner mm. and they don't dare to make their moves they don't dare to whatever you know they are not put in a spot where they are forced to learn about each other yeah, yeah. and then they scared we laugh at them because usually I know both of them way back yeah. Yeah. so That's I would right. insist to not go so that both sides right have the impression and both sides know uh, I'm trying to get them married and you decide <laughs> to show up already 
you know which is so it's already a mutual swipe mm. right, right. Yeah. <laughs> no but I think it depends on activity so I think dinner right maybe not so great to bring a couple friend but if you say create an activity where it's like versus so like you you go for maybe bowling or whatever and then you get the, mm. the two strangers to team up or something then at least so you create opportunities true. for them to gel bond work some moves a bit is this why we're married <laughs> it worked because we are so good at matchmaking mm. I guess I need to go bowling more <laughs> yeah, I don't know why bowling comes to mind the most. Yeah. No, but I think to go back to that, I think if you know what you want, I think it's good to, to bring it up. I think if you don't know what you want, it's good to bring that up also so that the expectations are very clear to begin yeah. with and no one wastes time. Yeah. Mm. Number four. <coughs> Number four. Their families play an active role in their dating lives. Prepare to be grilled and live up to their standards. This is dating culture in SG number four. Oh. It's true. Yeah, I think it's quite fair. La. So is, is there an added challenge because you need to be meet impressing their family as well. Families? Here's a pro tip guys for people dating in your younger years. Families are easier and easier to impress the older you get. You're writing notes or not? Yeah, because <laughs> they, like when they're young that time, they're like, oh my God, my little princess is going to go off with this man and then they're going to go on little trips to Phuket together and he's, she's going to stay over on weekends. Mm. It's like, who is this man? Mm. Yeah, but when she's 28, 29, she's like, oh my God, yeah. she's going to get married really. <laughs> so happy. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, guess, all right. Anyone will don't, do. Don't overthink it. When you're young, it's, it's exceptionally high. When you're older, it's exceptionally easy. <laughs> Bar keeps getting lower. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, that's the only way. That's, that's the design of life. Life just gets easier as you get older. Because like, everybody should complete the quest. Yeah. You know, like, how of us cannot complete the quest very hard? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're really hurting a lot of feelings out there with this comment. Just being real. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel, I feel it's the same thing here. So. <laughs> you cannot complete the quiz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, whatever your quest is. Like in general. No, I don't mean everybody should get married. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I mean in general, everybody should just set up a complete quest. So in general, life gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number five is that Singaporeans see PDA differently and it tends to be frowned upon. I, I think from the older generation. Mm. But I, when you see the younger couple coming down <laughs> from the escalator oh and then they are kissing and then... This is a very common like example. So before I moved to Singapore, right, I think I was like 11 or 12 and then I had um, an aunt right, that sometimes goes to uh, Singapore often for like business. And then I remember her having a conversation with my mom saying, wow, you know in Singapore, they're so liberal. Like, there was this couple coming down the escalator and they're just kissing the open. I can't believe these things happen. I was just like... That sounds awesome, yeah. <laughs> no, and if you're like, old can person, <laughs> if you see two old person going down the escalator and then they're kissing, you're like, oh my god, that's so, so cute. cute. Life gets easier as you get older. <laughs> Everybody completes the quest. No, yeah. so something that I've I've noticed, I don't understand why, right? And I don't know whether women are why are women comfortable with this, right? Is that like when I see couples in public, the guy right like to put the hand on the butt or grab the butt or squeeze the butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. when you're on the escalator or walking around, right? Like is that is Normal. that hygienic? Oh, <laughs> hygienic. <laughs> like, is that okay? <laughs> I don't answer. I, I don't know if hygienic is the word. <laughs> la. No, like, is that she okay? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm the person. I'm the person that grabs his butt in public. Nice. Oh, you know way more than grab his butt. Though. Oh my god. But you see when girls do it, guys do it different. So. The message is different. Mm. Yeah. But I think like, it's just like not sloppy, you know? I think that's like the <laughs> line of like, like a pack, but not like, you can see tongue action or saliva action. I thought we were talking about squeezing butt. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about squeezing butt. Oh, even that can be sloppy as well. What? La. <laughs> <laughs> it's about confidence. La. If the guy looks like he doesn't want to do it, then like, uh, uh, yeah. squeeze. Then like, eh, problem. Yeah, but if it's just like, bam, what's up, girl? Then it's like, okay, hey, this guy cool, yeah, your game. Like the dominance. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she smiles smile a bit, I'm chill. Mm. <laughs> what a healthy <laughs> relationship. I'm <Yeah>. chill. <laughs> Okay, the last point that he listed was that Singaporeans are divided when it comes to casual dating. Yeah, so it almost feels True. like whenever Singaporeans want to get into dates, right, it's like have to go to marry versus uh, let me try dating to figure out what I want. Is it a culture thing? Like we are not very used to dating in general, like multiple people. It's a very like Western thing where you like try, try, try because of the stages, right? Like you talk, then you stay committed, then you like marry. But then the talking stage is something that might be new because of dating apps, you know. Mm. Like what is dating considered to you? Is it like one person exclusive or dating is a range of people? I do think she's right in the sense of like the, the culture thing, like with Asians it's a lot more, let's settle down, let's yeah. build a family. Yeah. While like maybe more like individualistic countries or whatever, right? Uh, societies will be more like, 
let me figure out what I want mm. and how I want to do life. But nowadays, all the apps have like the the setting already, so you can say like you are looking like just to date casually. Mm. Or but I think dating casually has been confused with dating for sex. Oh, but okay. it's not necessarily oh. the case. I feel like in, in Western culture, it's okay to say that I'm looking for a partner to do my 20s with. Mm. Mm. Then but there's the 30s partner, and then there's the marriage partner. Whereas I feel like in Singapore, we are looking for a partner that hopefully we can marry. Or we are not looking for a partner, we're looking to have fun, right? Mm. And then you put casual, and it just means that this guy just want to have sex. But it may not be. Mm. I don't know if Bumble has this, but there are some that have the option of like, I don't know what I want. Oh my God, on Bumble, right? <laughs> you can apply a filter for like, their height, their star sign. <laughs> Do they exercise? Education level, drinking, smoking. You can like remove specifically like remove filters. Pisces and oh Aries. Oh my gosh, that's such a Gen Z thing. That's, I think that's great. I think yeah. Gen Z is like I don't want to date Pisces. Then I yeah, <laughs> I think it's fine. Like <laughs> what an inclusive. Some people app. subscribe to that, and it's no. You see, some some dating apps are optimized for you to forever be using a dating app. I feel mm. like this one is taking a step in helping you uninstall the app. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That makes sense. I mean, that's like the final sign of commitment, right? You that's one of the quests to complete in life, I guess. You delete the app. <laughs> you need to recommend the quest to complete. <laughs> I end up doing it in the wrong order. I delete first. <laughs> but so overall, right? Do you understand right? the brief or not? <laughs> <laughs> so overall, do you all think like dating apps has made it easier to form connections? Don't look at us, we never used before. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yes. No, I feel like just the barrier of entry because in general, I think guys are a bit more shy. That's what I think like, when you're dating. Mm. Because there's so, Singapore's so small. There's so many common friends, right? Mm. You also don't want to get embarrassed. You don't want to get rejected. So it's a nice barrier to talk to girls that you would never meet naturally in your mm. circle oh. or, or friends or you would never have the guts to say hi, you know? You have that barrier of like protection. So I think it's great. But I just have to like Slide in the deep. How, how, how many dates have you gone to as a result of dating it? She <laughs> counting, she counting. Oh, your mother is like, huh? Like, okay, like less than. Less 400. Than, oh my god, guys. Less than like 13. Um, That's so a 12 lah. That's specific. 12 say 12 lah. Yeah, but a lot of hit on me, sir. A lot of hit it's, it's a process, it's a process, right? Mm. Like how far in then do you figure out like, ah, uh, cannot lah. Like with the with the 12 yeah. people. Like, do you go out on a date <laughs> with all of them already, meet them in person already, and then- With all the disciples. Oh yeah, I consider like date law, date as in like meet. That's the concept, oh, okay, okay, not okay. talking. But right. from yeah. what stage do you go from like, let's meet in real life? Like, sorry, go to, let's meet in real life. I I feel like, right, here's, here's like what my personal opinion is after trying it for a while, right? Pro tip. It cannot be too long. You cannot wait too long to talk on an app before you meet. Otherwise, the you cannot talk too long on an app before you meet. It will yeah, fizzle out. The uh. spice like not there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh. So what would you say is the ideal time like time? Like if you're consistently talking throughout the day, like maybe four days. Yeah. Yeah. Fast game. If you wait like two weeks, right? Another guy's gonna slide in her DMs, and then boom, chance lost. Yeah, yeah. Gone. Yeah. You know? Plus you give the girl a chance to find reasons not to like you because you, you might talk too much, say too much. The, yeah, the yeah. mystery hasn't like it hasn't unraveled yeah, in person. Yeah, yeah. And and for these twelve dates, how how many of the meetups were initiated by you and how many by the guy? Well at the start it was like mainly the guy. And then after like the sixth one I was like, I f it lah. So really it's twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that, that, that was the whole point. Less than 13. More than 11. Than. Why are you? <laughs> 11.2. She's investigating. Plus <laughs> minus 12. La. <laughs> what is a good way to ask a girl out through it? Mm. The app? Mm. I think make it casual. Okay, like, you know, generally, like, lunch is casual. Dinner is romantic. Drinks. So cannot ask for dinner is what you're no, saying? No, can, la, can. But oh. it's just like knowing the... How intimate you are already. Yeah. Right. Yeah, then you yeah. can gauge and ask. Dinner and drinks is, you know... But dinner is like, let's see where it goes. Yeah. That's what I think. So I feel like- it But the guy not thinking the same thing. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I feel like girls have all these expectations and they read into all these things already. Mm. And then it's like, whether the guy knows like and us. can. It is. Yeah. We will read too much into it. Mm. <laughs> Lunch menu generally cheaper, so right? It's true. Yes, yes, yes. For girls, right? Like what? What do y'all talk? What, what should y'all talk about via text? And then what shouldn't you talk about via text? You know what I mean? 
before the date. I mean, on in your experience yeah. lah. Let's just say we are trying to set people up to date you, right? Mm. What? Where do you draw that line? I think it's whether he asks questions and is interested in getting to know me, even on text. If you just want to constantly like control the conversation, then I will already feel like I don't want to meet up this person. Mm. So it's whether it's like both of y'all are, and whether he's killing the conversation. You know, I think like like you have to ask each other questions to mm, continue the conversation. If it's very like full stop, full stop. Then I have to keep asking questions. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, too much work. But I really You're feel like this is enough. Yeah. I really feel it's really basics. Yeah, like there's just certain people that just know. Okay, like this conversation is ending already. It's time to ask a new question. Yeah. And then some people just don't get that at all. Yeah. Are you like curious to ask a question from what I just said, or like yeah. interested to know more about me? You know, mm. then I can gauge whether the conversation will really flow in mm. real life. Right. So the twelve apostles, right? Like they. <laughs> the the tell people right the doesn't doesn't we'll just say a dozen. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do when you actually meet up with them already, are they very similar to how they were like on text? No. How <laughs> how many of these twelve people make it to a second date? The uh, first text sounds like never last. Yeah, but I I think I think first one date because it just cannot reject people. Second date okay, but I feel like third date I won't. Yeah. Yeah, to me it's two dates. I like oh, give, you give, so chance, first, you give chance. First two dates are like first dates to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. Oh, See generous. whether you're consistent. Mm. Oh. Right, right. Maybe it's the time of day. Maybe yeah. it's the time of day. Yeah. After yeah. work, you have to. Like, do you remember what you said? Are the facts yeah. different? No. Speaking of inconsistencies, <laughs> right? The other thing also is that when on text, right? You don't know whether the guy is like asking all his friends. Like, oh my god, what should I say? The girl said this. What, what should I say? So it's actually a culmination of all his friends mm. with the pickup yeah. lines. Then when he's finally there, right? Actually, it's like Sh- I'm on my own. Oh. And it's usually the very bad advice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because you're listening to the guy that seemed to be able to have a lot of girlfriends, right? Mm. But he's actually just damn good. He's just damn handsome. He could say anything. Okay. Not but it's like, bro, trust me. This one always work. Always work. Yeah, for you. Not true. So I had this one friend who was like a coach, right? Really, because he really got the most number of girls when we were seventeen or eighteen, right? And there were like a few things that he told us that actually worked. Ooh. One of which was that when you ask a girl for a date, and last time it's SMS lah, you know, got no like apps and all, right? Don't ask to take her out just say that you're taking her out so for example you're all talking right there and you feel the time is right this is not like this is not like alpha male shit no 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 it's like it's sure. like for example you you find out she says like you know oh her, her week's busy or whatever and you find an opinion and just say you know what I'm taking you out for dinner and then like it works yeah. like the few times I did that it worked and then whenever I ask a girl like hey like do you, do you want to go out for dinner with me like and then she's just like mm. oh um, you know I'm busy that kind of shit so like when you make it a statement it just happens. So mm. it's true. So does this uncle know what he's talking about? <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think it's like it's if you kick it up a notch, right? Mm. You say let's go out. I have a place I want to bring you to. Yes, ah, exactly that. You decide the place. It's That's completely yeah. different from I'm picking up for it's dinner. It's neuro linguistic no, no, no. programming. <laughs> like, like okay, okay. Like, like I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but it's like you know, there's this really awesome place. I, I really want to take you there. Let's let's go um ah, okay, house okay. Wednesday or Thursday. That's so, not so much better than the first thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, like, okay. This was a long time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but you when you ask the question already, it's like what day is she free? As opposed to like, hey, do you, do you want to yeah. go out? It sounds mm. damn bitter. Or like we have to continue this conversation in person, like when the conversation oh. gets. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Or like you be cheeky and be like, um, hey, so tell me what happened. Like, we talk cock. Yeah. We never have to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talk cock. No, yeah. but it's a lot of guys taking notes. As though we, as though we didn't pull any of this shit. <laughs> I just go be, I'm just going very upfront, right? I'm in a long term relationship. This is the longest relationship mm. I ever had, right? But he's still swiping. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make any of the moves. Like Ned was the first one to say hello. Uh, hello. It was, she was the first one to make all the moves. She really took control of the whole it's relationship. Me. I'm so grateful for her. If not, I would be single and lonely. But was that like a how to say? Like so none a, of my moves actually. Was worked. that like a plus for you? It was a massive plus for me. Like the first time in your life that there's a woman. The only theory, no practical. Yeah. <laughs> I I love it when people, when, yeah, I, I love it when girls make the first move. Cause my 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 problem is that I'm very scared of rejection, and I'm very scared that the girl thinks that I'm being a creep, and then immediately like it's a problem, right? Cause I only date people in my vicinity, so I've dated only girls in my same school, same uni, and then Ned and I were working. So like. If you are in that same vicinity and then the guy, the, the girl thinks that you are like a creep already, right? It's like you GG already. You like, you can't show yourself in that same place anymore. Mm. So I'm very like conscious like, no, no, no. When I talk so much, be careful what I say. Then when the girl makes his first move, it's like, live in the fast The doors lane. just open. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. Yeah, so it's very easy. So then for women also, right? Like when they use apps like Bumble, the, the is the opening liner, I mean, I see this quite frequently, like, but it's sometimes just a high. Cannot. 
cannot right you know, mm. in my head I always compare like online dating versus real life dating right like which one is better then I stumbled upon this research that was why, why are you thinking about this eh aren't you in Wait, a relationship no, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay no <laughs> but then I've never been on dating apps right and I feel like I just have the perception that like I need to get to know someone first before I can start thinking about like romantic mm. like interest or Friends whatever. First, uh, yeah. 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 And that to me sounded like it could only happen in real life. Lah. Yeah. But then I was like reading this article that was talking about like dating ads versus real life and they found that like actually right couples that met online have higher desires to start families than those who connected offline. Which was quite interesting to me. Intentions maybe. Yeah, and it's kind of like opposite of what I expect, lor. Like I thought, like dating apps is just more casual, right? Like mm. so many options, then like I just like ah, never mind. Yeah, but then theory is the opposite. Maybe it's because the ones that do well offline, right? It's because they are very charismatic, they are they're extroverted and all this, and then in life they realize they can get along with people that they don't need to settle down so fast because it's so easy for them to like Reach find again. partners. Mm. Whereas for those who are on online, maybe they are a little bit more introverted, maybe. Or like it's a time limited scarce resource as opposed to an abundant resource yeah. that's always around. And so they find it a little bit more difficult to connect. So then they are more objective driven, I guess. Mm. Can I ask? So like you've been on like quite a few dating apps before, right? Does Bumble in a sense feel like a relief because you don't need to be thinking of those like starting lines and all that kind of stuff? Yes. <laughs> Do, do people uh. try and like circumvent the rules? So like girls are supposed to reach out, right? but then the girls only just say hi, then you end up having to use a pickup line anyway. Doesn't help that. That's true. I bet they do that. You're right. I bet because mm. the technology has shifted. I agree. And I think it's a damn good idea when I first saw of this many years ago. But humans are still, the people playing this game is. Mm. No, but then now at least girls who have been on Bumble will understand the pain that guys go through and how they true. end up. I don't think high. so. Just by virtue that the humans playing the process haven't changed. So I think many people think that mm. Bumble, or this is my inference again, right? It could be that the perception of Bumble is that it's for guys to, to play the role of getting approached now, mm. right? Mm. And letting the girl do the pickup work, right? But I would wager it's not like that. I think it's to normalize the girls just saying hi. So this whole app is actually built to make girls feel bolder to say hi. As oh. opposed to make guys understand, like, yeah. have it better, you know? I still think it's two things, right? Because after you match, right, there is that yay or there's the, the oh shit, did I really match with that person kind of thing? And so then the girl saying hi first is that second layer of like, okay, do you really want to match with this guy or not? So then when she really says yes, then you know, okay, you match with her twice. It's great. What would be helpful is, is the girl, because we play a game, right? The guys still have to do the impressing, not the girls here. If the girls can just give us instructions of what you guys are looking for, so if they just but he don't like the instructions. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> he said the. Oh, what do you mean? Those like that the in the bio that say no, no, what no, they no, no, like, so, so, like so, how so, to start a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh. if they start off instead of just saying hi, black. Like, um, tell me what's your best pickup line, just as a funny game, or like oh. uh, out of these three picks, like pick your favorite thing. And then no, so they do have that. Okay, they do okay, have okay. functions like that. It's like they have like quiz questions for you to answer, or like show me what's your oh, favorite movie, fun, that kind of stuff. Oh, so yeah, so it already have to get the conversation going. Nice. Yeah, which is quite useful like, because it also gives you a bit of insight into like what their interest might be, whether yeah. it's aligned. So it's like- But it's completely open-ended lah, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it kind of helps the guys also to know what kind of conversations to start. Not really. I think it's more for to make it easier for the girl to start a conversation. Oh, mm. right. Yeah. Mm. So it's easier for the girl. Yeah. You don't have to like. But it's okay. It's okay. Either way, mm. equilibrium is met. Whether you, you really make it easier for the easier for the girls or easier for the guys, mm. equilibrium is met. You still feel like you missed out, uh? And when no did Bumble come out? I got the biggest prize. Oh, I because know. I do feel like I've been on dating apps like I mean on and off like over a long period of time, right? Just to I try, try. It. But I I feel <laughs> like women have become more like initiative when it comes to become conversations. Become more online. initiative. Yeah. Yeah. Proactive. Uh, yeah. Whereas men has been like lost his sense of English. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching today's episode. And once again, thank you to our sponsors, Bumble. And making the first move might feel awkward, but Bumble is reducing this barrier to just a simple hello. So let's take charge of our own destiny and start a conversation with Bumble. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. See you. <laughs> And thanks, Jill. Estony. <laughs>
Huh? No, one is clearly say east, one clearly say west. What? Jurong is so big, I have no idea. <laughs> no, Why Jurong is, is in Jurong West. How can no, there no, be no. one is east and one is west? It's just his name. What? 